within Bill for Time, you can set up your invoice templates with headers, footers, columns, designs, and more. You can also create multiple templates and assign them to specific clients. To set this up in the system, click your name at the top right and select Settings. If you do not have access to the settings, you would need to contact your system administrator to grant you these permissions. From here, go to your Invoice Setup tab. Then click the Edit Settings button. Within your Invoice Setup, you can customize your taxes, late fee guidelines, your default header and note. Any changes you make here, click Save when finished. You will also see the templates you have in the system. You can click to add a new template, and you can also click the clipboard icon next to a specific template to edit it. Once on the template editor, here you can customize what you want to show or not show on your invoices. Now you can add a header image or use the text header in the system. You can also add a customized logo to the template itself. Below this, you will see checkboxes for your company and client details. And then below that, you'll have options, line spacing, paper size, and columns. Now you can turn on and off specific features to customize this template to your needs. Now if you continue to scroll down, you can add a footer. You can choose to show receipts, add trust activity, show user summary, as well as AR balance summaries. If you scroll to the top, you'll see a cover letter option if you're on the Pro or the Enterprise plans. If checked, this will allow you to create a custom cover letter to your templates. Now on the Design tab, you can choose between multiple designs in the system, and then on the Preview tab, you can preview to see what those designs would look like. Any changes you make to your templates, click Save, and those changes will automatically take effect to any invoices you have out there right now. The template that is used defaults to all clients, and you can switch between templates just by clicking on them, and you'll see that check mark move from one template to another. You can also assign a template to specific clients. If you go to Clients, click on a particular client, and go to their Invoice Presets tab, you will see that you have separate permissions on a per client level. Here you can customize the taxes, the late fee, the header, and the template per client and project, which would then override the standard templates that are set up in the system. Thank you for watching the Bill for Time Settings Invoice Setup tutorial, and click to continue watching for the Bill for Time Settings Manage Users tutorial next.